Now in some consumer news, it could be the end of an era. AM radio is being removed from many cars. Ford, BMW, Volkswagen and Tesla are just some of the automakers who are eliminating AM radio from some new vehicles. And KTSM 9 News reporter Jennifer Jordan explains why. An iconic sound of American culture closer to being silenced. When my dad is ever in the car still, he'll, you know, he'll flick on like 1100 or 850. But that could soon be a thing of the past. Automakers like Ford, Mazda, BMW and Tesla are planning to remove or have already removed AM radio from some 2024 gas or electric vehicles, citing electromagnetic audio interference as the reason. But are they being tone deaf? It's emotions and math on WJCU 88.7 FM. Jason Sokol is the director of WJCU 88.7 FM on the campus of John Carroll University. And I'm not a car guy to that extent, but I understand there's some technological issues there and some interference issues and all of that, but there are still some very popular radio stations that are on AM, even in a market like Cleveland. Like WTAM and ESPN Cleveland, but Jason says in smaller markets. Where maybe there isn't as much coverage, maybe there isn't an FM radio station that provides the level of coverage that the AM station does. Coverage like emergency weather alerts from FEMA or other government agencies. Contrary to millennial or Gen Zer beliefs, AM radio is not a dying breed. In fact, the Washington Post reports there are still more than 4,000 AM radio stations that broadcast news, sports, and talk shows throughout the country. Sound quality, I think, might be the big thing among my generation. We, we, we want it clear and crisp. Recent John Carroll graduate, 22-year-old Logan Potosky, has already landed his first job as the play-by-play -play broadcast for the Lake County captains. While he's well aware of the history and importance of AM radio, his peers are tuning out. And with like satellite, I think it's just becoming so much more popular.